Hey third grade, today we're going to be working on a little bit different version of a koi fish. Um, it's going to be much smaller and we'll have some easier supplies to use today. The one that you made in school is actually hanging up and those looked so awesome. I wanted you to be able to have one at home today that we're going to make together. So let me give you a little bit of history on Children's Day. That was the thing that we talked about that kind of went along with the koi fish project. So let me tell you what I know. Children's Day is a commemorative date celebrated annually, and we typically see it celebrated around the world on November 20th or November 21st. So <clears throat> we are kind of using those little koi fish kites to celebrate um, Children's Day. Obviously, we would be a little bit early this year, um, but it's still a cool project, so let's get into it. You don't need all of these supplies, but if you had any of the stuff on the table here, um, you could definitely take your project and make it a little bit more colorful. I've got regular old printer paper. I've got a magazine that I dug out of the recycle bin. Glue. If you don't have glue, tape will work just fine. Scissors, markers, crayons. I've got a pencil, a red pen, a black pen, and a Sharpie marker. All we really need to actually get this project to work today is paper, tape, or glue, and a pair of scissors, and a pencil. That's the bare minimum. If you have more than that, feel free to use it. First thing I'm gonna do with my piece of paper is somehow either rip it or cut it in half. The easiest way to figure out where the halfway point on my paper is, is to fold it, open it back up. That line gives you your halfway. Now just like we did in class, we're going to use this to become our koi fish. So I think right now I'm definitely going to sketch some eyes on there. This is going to be his mouth over here. And inside each eye, I'm going to add some eyeballs. Some lips. And down here I'm going to add some scales and some fins. Now. Before I get to the fins, let's talk about scales. Scales, you could use your pencil to draw, or you could use that recycled paper. If you don't have this, that's okay. Stick with your pencil. Um, if we choose to go this route, scissors are going to be our best bet. All right, I tore a page out of my magazine. I'm going to cut off the stuff that I don't plan to use. And just like we did in class, we're going to do an accordion fold on this. So I'm going to fold it over, crease it, fold it back over, crease it, fold it back. If you have smaller pieces like this, go ahead and give them a snip ski. Now what I'm going to end up doing on this is I'm actually going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw out two fairly large scales. Now keep everything folded. Just a quick reminder that fold is kind of a zigzag line if you look at it from the side. And I'm going to cut these out now. So I'm going to cut off my extra paper. Now the nice thing about that accordion fold paper is that it kind of allows you to end up with quite a few pieces all right, I haven't put my scales on yet because I'm <clears throat> doodling a little fin over there. So the fin design is up to you. If you have stuff to color, now would be a good chance to color before we glue anything on there. If you don't have stuff at home to color with, don't sweat it. I've got some details on my fish now. We're gonna go ahead and move on by adding the scales. Now I don't want the scales to cover my fin and when I'm putting my scales on, I wanna start down at the bottom and then kind of work my way towards the back so that they overlap just like this. I've got my scales on both sides. I can still come in now and add more details if I feel like I need some more stuff on my fish. Otherwise, a neat thing to do might be to bend some of these scales up a little bit so they actually stick up off the fish when I get them all rolled up. Now quite honestly, this next step would be a lot easier to do if you had some tape, because just like we did in class with the stapler, we're gonna have to get this guy to stick just like that nice and round. So if you had tape, 
you could put some tape in here on one side, flip it over and put some tape on the other side. Staples would also work. Otherwise, here's how you do it with glue. Just a few lines. I've got a couple lines right there and then I'm going to roll it so that the glue is underneath. But now you're going to have to hold it until that glue starts to stick. So I'm going to let my glue dry here for a second and I'll catch up with you in a minute. My glue is dry enough that I can let this guy stand up on his own. Now you have that other piece of paper still. This other piece of paper, if you had markers or crayons or something such as that, this would be a good time to have colored this in. Otherwise, here's what we can work on. We're going to tear, I don't know, I'd say four is a good number. Let's tear four pieces of this paper. Now we're going to do with this exactly what we did with the tissue paper in class. I'm going to put some glue on the ends and then I'm going to glue it for my fish's tail down here. As long as you didn't use too much glue, this process should be fairly fast. You just want to make sure that each time you put one of these little pieces on, you're pushing inside your fish and you're pushing and holding for a few seconds until that glue sticks. If you still have some leftover paper, use those scissors again and you can cut out a thin strip that then we can glue up here inside your fish's mouth and you can still hang him up. There's my very basic fish. I'm not going to hang him on anything yet. I want that glue to dry for a couple hours to make sure it doesn't tear or peel off. Um, and then I've got my fins down here at the bottom as well. So <clears throat> let's talk a little bit more about the actual koi fish now. Check out these pictures. Pretty cool stuff. So we tied this project in with Japan and I'm going to read you a little bit about Japan and how it ties in with Children's Day right now. So Japan actually celebrates Children's Day on May 5th. So depending on where you live, the holiday will fall on different... So. We talked about how this project relates to Japan. And Japan actually celebrates Children's Day on a different day. And they celebrate it on May 5th as a national holiday. But in particular, they end up um, celebrating that holiday with very similar things to what we've got here. Um, and they use carp style kites. So we changed up a little bit with the koi fish. Um, but if you look at some of those pictures that I'll put up right now, They look pretty similar. Your last job, once everything is dry and this thing looks super beautiful, is to hang it up somewhere. Now obviously, if you email me right here, I'd love to see some pictures of it. This project is not required, um, so don't stress about it. Once you're done with everything, go ahead and get your materials cleaned up, recycle that paper. Don't forget to wash your hands. And if anybody helped you with this project, be sure to give them a big thank you. I'll see you next time we're in class.